Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend read. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So guys, we're going to do a quick shuffle here on camera. We're going to go over a couple quick announcements, your pre-shuffle message, <coughs> excuse me, and then we're going to get into the reading, okay? So let's get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Virgos, please? January 30th to February 2nd, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance can we bring to my Virgos, please? What love messages do we have for my Virgos, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. All right, my loves. So if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards. I give away oracle cards. And for February 1st, ooh, and for February 1st, I'm going to be giving away uh, jewelry too. So if you guys like that, then we'll make that like a permanent thing, okay? Um, the winners are always announced on the first of the month. Uh, so guys, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know uh, when the um, winners are announced because you only have to the last day of that month to claim your winnings, okay? I am not taking personal readings right now. Um, you can still visit my website, www.thetaroflight.com uh, to view my uh, tarot collection, okay? Um, I do have over 100 decks, tarot decks and oracle decks. They all have links to purchase if you're interested. So guys, I did have a little bit of time last night to go onto YouTube. Um, so I'd like to give a shout out to a reader, uh, Shaman Seer Tarot. That's S-H-A-M-A-N Seer, S-E-E-R Tarot. Okay, I really enjoyed um, that reading. So definitely check it out. Okay, what else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, Instagram. I had a lot of people ask me if I had an Instagram page. I do. I posted the link in the description box below. I will be uh, posting daily messages on there. Um, sometimes it'll be regular tarot, sometimes angel messages. So if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, link is below. Okay. So guys, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. Okay. So Virgo, listen, this could be your energy. It could be your person's energy. Okay. But what I'm feeling here is that you guys are, are putting work into something, okay? You're putting work into something or someone, and I feel that you guys are having a lot of anxiety. Like, you feel like it's a risk. Whatever this is, it's a risk. It's risky business. <laughs> That's what we have going on here. And you're kind of worried. You're having a lot of fear and anxiety. Maybe you guys are just letting loose. You're just letting loose, opening your heart to somebody. And, um, you know, Virgos, normally you guys, you know, just like really analyze things. You're very guarded sometimes. But I feel like the sense of I'm letting loose. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it my all. And you guys have a little bit of fear or anxiety that it may not work out. And what if I get hurt, you know? So, but guys, you know, life is all about taking risks, you know? Under the deck, we have the death card change scorpionic energy so you guys are changing the way you handle you know situations here okay because normally um you guys are not you know like that you're very you know you overthink virgos are very slow moving energy when it comes down to who they keep in their circle okay um you don't befriend you know you, you generally don't befriend people super super quickly um you don't you know get into connections you don't make you're not you're not an impulsive sign okay and i feel that you just taking this leap of faith and jumping in with both feet it's a little scary for you okay but the point here is is that you're you know change and change is good virgo okay with the the magician in the mirror you know you're trying to manifest here maybe you've prayed for something maybe you're trying to manifest journal manifestation and you know that listen whether it's through prayer or manifesting you always have to meet the universe and God halfway okay if you don't believe it's possible and 
like with man, I, I'm going to do a video on how to manifest, you know, the way I manifest at least. But if you don't believe it's possible and it's not in your heart that this is something that's possible, then obviously, you know, it can't be. So I feel here, Virgo, that if you want a strong connection and you don't put your all into it, then you're showing the universe that you don't really believe it's possible. And if you don't believe it's possible, then the universe is not going to deliver it. Okay. Or God is not going to deliver it if you guys are, are praying. So what do we have here? We've got the healer of ages and the magician in the mirror. So I feel that, you know, with healer, listen, the bottom line is the reason why we're all so guarded, and that's all of us, okay? I feel that all of us in one way or another are a little guarded or mistrusting. You know, we live in a world where, you know, there is a lot of pain, you know, especially when it comes down to dating and love issues. The, I, I don't think I've ever encountered one person, and now it's even starting dating or people, young, you know, people are dating at even a younger age. So you'll find an 18-year-old that has trust issues at this point, you know? So, I feel that everyone has a reason, you know, Virgo, and I feel that the way you feel about this is if I'm going to get over the, the, the issues from my past, if I'm going to look for true healing, I have to start believing again, okay? And that's where we have the death card. You're per putting hurting you're hurting <laughs> you're putting certain things uh to death you're you're ending certain things in your life putting them to rest so that you can move on and have a future here spirit what messages do we have for my virgos your hard work is paying off your hard work is paying off you're putting a lot of work you're putting a lot of dedication into something and um but you're feeling like nothing is set in stone yet do you understand you have that fear of like okay i'm putting in the work but like i'm not married to this person yet you understand what i'm saying so is it really safe for me to be sacrificing in this way of course it is virgo you know because listen everything is a gamble in life everything okay um you know everything everything even if you're wearing white sneakers and they're completely clean and you go out you know there's a chance that it might rain you know what i'm saying like you know it, the, everything is a risk in life everything so you know you're putting your work into this and either you know it's gonna it, spirit is saying that it's paying off like i mean it is working like i feel that things are getting better like the more work you put into this the more you open up the better the relationship is becoming yet at the same time deep deep down in your heart you're like okay but nothing is set in stone like this person hasn't fully committed or we're not married yet or am i doing the right thing like you know what i'm saying but i feel that you are so let's get started, Virgo. So we're going to read you on this side, your person on this side. Feel free to flip it, twist it, reverse it. It can 100% be vice versa. Take what resonates, leave the rest. These are general messages. And if it doesn't resonate at all, please, you know, just click off. If it's not your message, don't force it to fit, okay? So Virgo, starting with your side here, make the effort, okay? Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You're jumping in both feet, I love how this little boy, look at how he's kissing. Get over here, you big love muffin, you. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you know, someone here is really just making that decision to show affection, to show what the beauty that's in their heart, the love. Virgo, you guys are showing the, the real love that you guys have to give, okay? You're letting go of control issues. Thank you, Spirit. You're allowing the situation to just unfold naturally. You're just doing your job, showing love, and letting go and letting God instead of analyzing every little thing, okay? You're showing that love. Here we have justice, Libra energy. You guys are trying to be fair, trying to do the right thing judgment we've got sagittarian energy here you have made this judgment call either that or you you've given somebody a second chance or they have given you a second chance but you're feeling like this is you know um this has to be done like you know what i'm saying either this is your second ch this is a ch another chance at love for you or you know it could be that this person has forgiven you and is giving you a second chance virgo or that you know you have forgiven somebody and you're giving them a second chance see the bottom line is when we reconcile with somebody, if that's what resonates with you, when we reconcile with somebody, we can't just say, okay, let's get back together and not truly forgive and forget. Because if you don't truly forgive and forget, then there's no moving forward. You're still stuck in the past. And for those of you that are have reconciled or and are in that position, you have to remember that, okay? And I feel that you guys are coming to that, that realization here that 
if I'm going to forgive and truly give a second chance, I have to open up my heart again. I have to release the pain and just fully expose, you know, blank page, just to give my heart fully again to see if this is going to work. And for others of you where this is a newer connection, I feel Virgo that you're just jumping all in you're trying to do the right thing you're making that final judgment call that showing love is the best thing you can do and stop trying to control the situation we've got the four of pentacles yeah see you may have been in a place in life where you were always ready to hold back because you wanted to control the situation what if i give too much of my heart what if i get hurt what if i do this what if i do what if this happens what if 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 it works out great virgo who knows, you know, and, and there's a chance that it may not, we're, um, let's, we're all adults here, but you know, that's a part of life, you know, we have the fool, we have the fool taking that risk, it, you know, and I feel that, you know, you guys are coming from this place where you've always held back from, with the fool card, taking that risk taking that leap of faith okay and here we have the hanged man and that may have caused a lot of blockages in your life virgo that may have put a real dent in a lot of situations you know we can't say okay i need to go food shopping and i need to get in my car and get to the food store but i'm not going to go because what if i get into a car accident what if i lose my debit card what if i don't make it what if i forget my cell phone what if i lose my cell phone what if i you know what i'm saying we can't live like that you know what i'm saying because or else we'll never get anything done you know so let's see what we have here for the oracle the sacred temple okay so for a lot of you um this could be very spiritual okay this could be very spiritual you may be turning to god or manifesting and trying to protect what you hold most dear to you all right um for others of you i feel that the sacred temple is this really i was just going to say is this relationship true love so virgo you guys have maybe met somebody or maybe you guys know that this connection is just really, truly sacred. It is divinely guided. And you know that you truly love this person. So if there's if there's anybody in this world that you're willing to jump in both feet and you're really willing to just lay your heart on the line and just release control, it is this person. Okay? It is this person. So let's see what we have here for clarification. Do I want to use these or do I want to use, yeah, let's use these. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Virgos, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance can we bring to my Virgos today, please, Spirit? Spirit, tell me about justice, please. The fool taking that risk there, you know what I'm saying? So, guys, either somebody came in wanting to give an apology, okay? who that is okay so either somebody here gave an apology and you're realizing here that you really need to take the risk and open up your heart or you know you're in a relationship right now where you're understanding that the right thing to do is to take that risk and make the effort and show that love okay spirit tell me about judgment please the Ten of Wands. Okay, so again, I'm getting two different things, so I have to go two different ways here, okay? So for those of you who have given a second chance, for those of you who have reconciled with somebody, you know, it, there's a lot of weight there. Okay, there's a lot of weight there. There's a lot of, you know, things in the past, or maybe you may have given this person multiple chances. You know, they're, they're, you've reached the level of stress where you know that if they mess up one more time, you're not dealing with it anymore, okay? And that weighs heavily on you. But the key there is, is that, you know, if you're giving this one last chance where if they mess up one last time, it's over, then you also have to put both feet in and really try to make this work. And that's what's scary because you know that you're like at level 10, you know, you're, 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 you're just about ready to give up. But if it's going to work, it's going to take two people to make that happen, Virgo. Okay. For others of you, you, you know, it may have been really hard to make this decision to just open up, let go and release and let go of control, but you made it. And that's all that matters. Okay. Spirit, tell me about the four of pentacles, the empress. Okay. See, guys, the Empress is Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Energy. In the past, you guys may have held back from really starting a new beginning. Maybe you guys held, you know, the Empress is committed, okay? She likes to create. So in the past, Virgo, you may have held back so much that you put up this wall. You put blockages. You, you stopped yourself from creating something with somebody. You stopped yourself from that. Spirit, tell me about the fool. 
we have the two of wands. You see, when it came down to, you know, jumping in and taking that risk, you would always, you know, distance yourself, go into your little hermit cave and just, you know, bye. <laughs> you know, you didn't want to get close to people or truly like open your heart. Even if, you know, you were affectionate, kind, you know, you were there, you were present, but you didn't really let people close to your heart. Spirit, tell me about this hanged man page of swords and i feel that aquarius gemini libra energy you're starting to realize that virgo you're starting to realize that everybody has to put work in you your person it takes it's a teamwork here okay it's teamwork and i feel that you are yearning for that type of connection you're yearning for it okay and i, I i'm starting to just feel here that you know you just know that you know it's not one-sided you're starting to realize here that love is a two-way street and if you want things to really work both people have to work at it which is different for you it's a huge change virgo it's a huge change but it will pay off it will pay off spirit what do we have for uh your person see give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so this person is working just as hard as you here pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you all right, so let's see what we have here. So maybe this person, um, Virgo, is giving this connection a chance, but they're seeing, either they're seeing that you're actually putting in the work, or they may have brought it to your attention that by you holding back, you're, you know what I'm saying, you're putting blockages into the connection. So let's see what we have here. The Three of Pentacles. So this person has also been, see you guys have the Three of Pentacles here, they have it here. They're putting in work on this also queen of swords aquarius gemini libra energy um but they're not trusting of something ace of wands ace of wands and the six of swords and the four of swords okay so what i'm getting here virgo is that this person put in a lot of work in this connection okay and now this person may have realized that this is the person I feel that there were blockages with Virgo maybe you were holding back you weren't giving your all and this person decided to just say listen I'm cutting this off because I'm not getting anything from you how long can I keep doing this so they may have seen this as a red flag they may have said listen sorry I got to go with that six of four swords I got to move towards something that is meant for me because obviously Obviously, if you're not going to put in what I'm putting in, you know, this is always going to be out of balance, okay? And with the Four of Swords, this person I'm feeling really gave you something to think about. They said, listen, I need some space here. I need to, you know, give this a rest and really think about this because I can't be the only one putting work into this. And this, I feel, you know, Virgo maybe has sparked you to be like, you know what, you're right, okay? See, this person wants to, okay with increase and joyous fun this person wants to move forward this person wants to go on adventures with you this person wants to have a fun fulfilling relationship okay they want joy in their connection they don't want to constantly have to like feel tired because they're always putting in the work and getting nothing back this person wants to feel safe they want to feel secure you know they they want you know love and security to virgo okay so again this is this is a true realization here that you know it does take two people to make a connection work spirit tell me about the three of pentacles please page of cups okay cancer scorpio pisces energy i feel like this person virgo has given a lot to this connection okay but here you are virgo energy the hermit you know withdrawing in your cage never sure if this is the person that's meant for you okay the the, the lover's card gemini energy is all about deciding on who you want to be with so i feel like this person was giving a lot you know what i'm saying giving a lot of emotion giving a lot of time attention and you know you're over here kind of like taking everything but giving nothing in return because you're scared you're scared that things aren't going to work out and you know you're trying to play it play it safe play it smart to not get hurt tell me about the queen of swords please knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy so again i'm feeling that this person really came towards you with a tremendous amount of love they put a lot of work into this connection and then you know they but they're always feeling alone they're feeling very lonely okay they're feeling very lonely um and this person saw that as a red flag spirit tell me about the ace of wands 
four of wands. This person, you know, may have told you at one point or another, listen, I want a successful connection. And in order for it to be successful, again, I'll repeat it again, two people have to work together. Tell me about the six of, of swords. Four of pentacles. So now what happened here, Virgo, is you were holding back at one point and now this person started to hold back with that six of swords. They left too, okay? Why is the four of swords here, please, spirit? Yeah, see, this person gave you something to think about, Aquarian energy, okay? This person gave you something to think about, about what you really want, okay? About what you really want. And now here you are, Virgo energy coming in. And like I said, that's a slow moving light night. That horse is barely moving, but you're bringing it. You're bringing that stability. You're bringing that love. You're bringing that attention. You're bringing that grounded energy. You're coming. You're, you're getting there, Virgo, okay? So the challenge here is the Eight of Cups. The challenge here is, you know, being emotionally disconnected, okay? Um, I, I feel that, you know, Virgo... Not that you're a cold sign, I don't feel that, but I feel like you feel it's better to just not invest emotion in case something goes wrong, you don't have to worry about the heartache. That's going to be a challenge, okay? It's a challenge for this person because this person is obviously wearing their heart on their sleeve and it's a challenge for you because you are not, you know, you see here, you're starting to realize that if you keep acting this way, it's constantly going to block your connections. It's constantly going to block your connections. And, you know, reality is though, the funny part is what's crossing this is the three of wands you yearn for that you want that close connection and you yearn for this person you guys love each other okay so you know i feel that you're coming to terms with the fact that it's time to just jump in here we've got the queen of pentacles and the empress capricorn taurus virgo energy and we have aries taurus libra cancer energy so you see here we're we're, we're creating now we're creating now the empress is about creation it's about building it's about starting that new beginning um and with the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy this is about you know you standing in your power okay this is about you being nurturing kind responsible stable giving this person the the, the commitment and the stability that they need and you guys both you know taking that chance and opening up to one another and that's why we had here with that judgment card judgment is a second chance it's another chance here and with the ten of wands you know it was difficult for you to to start over again knowing that you were going to have to change in this way but guys i mean this is ultimately this is taking place to help you heal to help you manifest to help god and the universe actually give you what you want okay and with hard work is paying off i mean i feel that it will pay off because one way or another virgo if this doesn't work out this is a process that you need to do to help you heal and if it does work out it's going to be insanely beautiful okay so let's take this into it, the extended. Let's see, you know, if you putting your work in, your time, your effort, if that's going to pay off, okay? So let's see what the outcome of this connection is going to be. Um, we'll, I'll list the uh, link for the extended in the description box below. I'll also put it in the comment section. Guys, please be sure to like if this resonates. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. Drop a comment. I love reading on how these, you know, my readings resonate with you guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. I'll see you in the extended. Take care, my loves. Bye.